Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 31, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance called Warriors of the Realm. So we're going to take a look at their defense. Spectate a little bit here. Looks like they've already gotten started in the middle. Uh, I take path 3 in sections 1 and 2. And looks like uh, I've got a Tigra on my path. And I also have a Vision Arcus, who can be very annoying. Now, as soon as I see Vision Arcus, I know Black Widow Clairvoyant is very good for him. So I'm already thinking of bringing her in. Um, and let's see who else we got here. I usually do not take uh, that middle uh, mix master. And then we've got Doom. Now... I may be bringing in, well, I know I'm going to bring in uh, Spider-Man 2099. And he might be good for that Doom, unless um, one of my alliance mates comes in with a better option. And on my path in Section 2, we've got an Iron Man Infinity War and we've got Penny Parker. Both of those I like to take with Corvus. Uh, then we've got uh, Guillotine 2099. Uh, unless I was going to bring Warlock, I would rather not take that fight. But if I have to, I would boost up and take it with um, Corvus. And then we've got Mini Boss Island. But if I bring Spider-Man 2099, probably uh, I'll be taking that Apocalypse there. So, um, I'm probably not going to take any of these others. So, no need to really try to plan it out. So, right now, I'm thinking uh, Spider-Man 2099, Corvus, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. That seems to be the uh, team uh, that I'm going to go in here with. All right? So, without further ado, let's get to the fighting. And we're back. And the fighting will commence in a moment. Uh, so you can see the team that I'm going in here with. Those are the attackers that are banned. Doesn't affect me at all. Didn't have to change up my team. So we're going in here. And of course, Spider-Man 2099, not only good for the boss, but there are uh, a few fights that I'm thinking uh, he'll be good for as well. All right, so we don't have any fight on that first node. Our first fight will be against Tigra, who I am a little nervous about fighting because the fight can get out of hand very quickly with Tigra. She has some pretty long specials, and if you mess up even a little bit, you're going to catch all of it. So we don't want to take the fight lightly, but... I don't anticipate any major issues going into this fight. Okay. So, you know, boost up a little bit, you know, not too bad there. And honestly, my strategy here, I'd rather not deal with her special two. It's too long. It eats up too much ground. And you can see she was almost to a special two already that fast. Okay. Um, we baited out a special one. And here we are trying to bait out another special one already, you know? So that's why I'm just a little nervous about this fight. And at that point I was like, okay, she's not gonna throw her special. I'm in the wall. I do not know how to dex her special two against the wall properly, which is why you saw I got hit a little bit. Um, I tried to avoid dealing with her special two, but the AI would not throw that special one so I was like, okay, just go ahead and throw your special two. I'll take it. I should be able to survive. And I did. And we were able to get her down, full attack bonus. Uh, perhaps if I was a little uh, better at dexing against the wall, her uh, specials, you know, um, I could have been a little bit more patient. But we got it done. Okay, now this next fight is against the first mini in section one. And anytime I see Vision Arcus... I think of my girl, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. She is a great option for him. She's not the only one, 
but on this team especially she is definitely the best option that i have reason being she nullifies his buff so that power game buff you see there gone see how quick that was and without that power game buff he loses a lot of his danger okay so you see he's got that buff up again now it's gone again okay so very good option for him just look at this that went nice smooth and easy okay so uh, i love black widow clairvoyant against uh vision arcus anytime i see vision arcus and i'm able to take black widow clairvoyant against him that's what i want to do all right so that was section one now when i came back you know of course i went to bed and woke up the next day you can see here that one of my alliance mates has stopped at that mini there meaning he don't really want to tackle that fight uh and he probably saw that i might have had a better option or he just didn't want to deal with it uh but i felt that spider-man 2099 would be a good option he's a good option for doom and he's a good option for that node that has emp modification that emp modification is the worst part of this node to me okay read it but we don't have to deal with any of that because spider-man 2099 does not gain buffs so if you don't gain buffs you're not going to have to worry about any of the buff related nodes any of the buff related abilities nothing so for example when he fires his special one off here he has his aura up i can just keep on attacking him i don't have to worry about him nullifying a buff putting a shock on me and then hitting me with a heavy attack while i'm stunned won't happen okay so i can just fight this fight like normal like i would fight any other uh doom all right now i was a little nervous about this fight but as you can see i shouldn't have been spider-man 2099 beautiful beautiful counter to this but the reason i was a little worried of course is that i could have messed up special two especially you know i do an evade or um even try to partially block it in alliance war shenanigans happen suddenly my evade gets stuck and i'm taking all that damage and die it only takes like one you know you could fight beautifully for the entire fight and one failed evade and the fight's over and you lost okay now, this fight, I was not worried about. Uh, I can remember one time that I've lost to Iron Man Infinity War using Corvus. Um, actually, twice now. And that's when he was on an Aggression Fury, and I didn't know how to deal with that with Corvus. And more recently, in one of the uh, wars, when he was on the... Uh, power game node uh, I had a, a input fail on me which gave him more power which meant that I wasn't going to be able to finish him off before my uh, charges went out and that meant he was most likely going to build all the way back up regen everything it, it just wasn't a good time okay um, but other than that you know on on other nodes i'm not too worried uh penny parker again not worried when i have corvus that was one of the reasons i brought him okay uh she decided not to block there so i couldn't hit into her shield okay whatever um so i'm just doing it slicing and dicing okay she decided to do that and anytime she does that i like to counter with a heavy okay i do that in aq same thing just a boom 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 done okay uh so very easy fight for corvus now i didn't get a chance to fight anymore in this war once again uh when i came back i was waiting to be cleared uh of a couple of fights that i thought i could do 
Um, but never got cleared on this mini until everybody was done. When I came back to look, they cleared the mini, but mini boss island was already cleared. Boss was done. Okay, so the war was over. All right, so that's going to do it for right now. And we'll be back and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Now, before we end the video, I wanted to explain something that you may or may not have even noticed. But in the beginning of the video, I said this was war number nine. But as you can see from the title, it's titled war number 10. That's actually not a mistake, it was deliberate, okay? Early in the season, Kabam messed up, I know, surprising, but they messed up uh, I think with the matchmaking or whatever, and we lost a war. I didn't realize that, and I continued my count naturally, all right? So when I was on war number 11, it was actually the final war of the season, and I didn't even know. And during my live stream, someone mentioned it. I said, this is the last war. I'm, I'm on 11. So what I decided to do was to just go ahead and correct it right now i had already recorded the first part of the video that that intro part so that's why you hear me saying war number nine because that's what i felt it was at that time but we have two more war videos after this one that you'll be seeing okay so that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day